Let us jump straight to the point on how to convert a DFA into its corresponding regular expression. To do that, you have to first convert it into a generalized non-deterministic finite automaton or a GNFA. Before I introduce you to it formally, I would like to give you a glimpse of what a GNFA is through this example. The transitions in a GNFA happen on regular expressions instead of characters from the alphabet. An accepting run for the string 11110100 on this GNFA is from Q0 to Q1 on 1, Q1 back to Q1 on 11, Q1 back to Q1 on 101, and Q1 to Q2 on 00. I'll pause here for a moment and let you observe the acceptance path of the given string in this GNFA. This sort of generalized representation allows us to simplify it in such a way that we are just left with a start state and an accepting state with the transition on a regular expression that corresponds to the original DFA. One of the important steps in conversion of a GNFA to a regular expression is ripping off states from it. Here is an example that shows how you do it. The regular expression from Qn to Qrip is 1. Qrip transitions on regular expression 0 back to itself and then transitions to Q out on 1. So strings like 1, 1, 101, 1001, 10001, etc. can successfully pass from Q in to Q out. The looping transition on 0 can be seen as a pump. It pumps the regular expression indefinitely into itself and it can be replaced by the star of the regular language. Hence, we have 1, 0, star 1 as the regular expression transition between Q in and Q out with Q rip ripped away. Here is another example set of states from a GNFA and the resultant regular expression. Now GNFA being an NFA can have multiple transitions from a single state on the same regular expression or multiple transitions in general. Suppose you have this parallel transition from Q in to Q out in that example, the GNFA could take either of those routes to get to Q out from Q in. So we can actually unify both these transitions using a union operator. More formally, here are the two key steps while reducing a GNFA into a regular expression. You might want to make a note of this stuff. All right. I'll show you an example of this conversion using this DFA. To convert this DFA into a GNFA, you have to add a start state and a final accept state. Okay, so this is the standard. So if your DFA has two states, the GNFA will have four states. If your DFA has five states, your GNFA will have seven states because you're adding this extra start state and the accept state. Now the rule is you're going to connect the start state with the original start state of the DFA with an epsilon transition and you're going to connect all of your accept states with the final accept state using epsilon transition. So this way we are enforcing that this GNFA has a single start state and a single accept state. Uh, one more strong rule enforced in a GNFA is that from a start state, there should always be arrows that are pointing outwards. Uh, the start state cannot have a loop. Similarly, even the accept state, it should have arrows pointed inward. And the final accepting state should not have a loop. Perfect. Now we're going to rip one state after the other in this GNFA and simplify it to a two-state GNFA 
where we would end up having a regular expression for the DFA. So let's start with Q1. If you're going to rip off Q1 from this GNFA, you'll have to take care about the path highlighted in red and the path highlighted in blue. Remember this concept which we discussed just before. So I'm going to simplify both the red path as well as the blue path following this concept. So I end up with the regular expression epsilon 0 star 1 for the red path and 1 0 star and 1 for the blue path. Perfect. Now I can remove Q1 and then reconnect all the states that are remaining this way. Because the red path is connecting Qs with Q2 and the regular expression is 0 star 1, I'm going to write it there. And the blue path is looping from Q2 back to itself. So I have this another loop with 1 0 star 1. Okay, so the blue loop as well as the green loop are in parallel. So you can take the union of those two. And then finally you can end up with this regular expression that connects QS with QF. So this is the regular expression that describes the original DFA that we had earlier. All right, this should give you intuition about GNFA. We're gonna cover this more formally in class. See you.